the science of dog training has come a very long way in the last two decades. In this video, I want to show you how to begin to positively motivate and train just about any dog. No matter how simple or complicated of a task you want to teach your dog, it is very important that we coach them to learn not because they have to, but because they want to. An excellent question that I get asked a lot is, how do I start training my dog? We can start teaching them as soon as we have something that the dog wants. Now different dogs have different preferences, but I find that food is the strongest motivator for the majority of them. Now I like using food because it is very quick to reward your dog with. I also find that it's very useful to use with dogs that at first are relatively more easily distracted. I think the number one criticism of using food in training that I hear is when people say, I want my dog to listen to me whether or not I have treats on me. If I use food, they will only listen when I have food. And while this is a very fair argument, the truth is that there is a very scientific process for teaching a dog to not only respond while there is no food around, but also to learn to accept other forms of rewards such as praise, petting, or simply a chance to play with a tennis ball. Using food in the initial stages adds a very solid structure to the training which is essential for most dogs, especially puppies. If you've ever been to a pet store, you know that there's plenty of choices between different kinds and flavors of treats. You want to use something that your dog really likes, otherwise it wouldn't be much of a reward. Using small, pea-sized treats is best because that way you can be generous and not overfeed your dog. Try not to use big cookies that take 10 to 15 seconds for the dog to eat just because that would disrupt the flow of learning. Something else to keep in mind is to use a variety of different treats. If you always have the exact same treat and at the park one day you're competing against a squirrel over there, the squirrel might win that one or lose depending on how you look at it. But if you have all these different treats, then that's going to hold their attention a lot better not knowing which one they're going to get next. The secret to really making dog training work comes down to two things, consistency and timing. Using a marker like a clicker allows us as trainers to have perfect timing. If you have never used a clicker before, spend a few seconds showing your dog what it means. To do this, simply click once and give your dog a small treat. Repeat this 10 to 15 times. It should look like this. You'll know that they understand once they are looking away and after hearing the click they turn towards you as if to say, where's my treat? The click serves as a signal that lets the dog know they just did the right thing and a reward is on its way. For example, when you're teaching a dog to let's say sit you would click as soon as their bum hits the ground because that's when they're going into the sit position and then give them a reward for it afterwards. You would do that over and over again until they understand that this is sit and I'm getting rewarded for doing that. There's a lot to be said about the clicker. There really is. I hope that this has been somewhat useful as an introduction to how it works and I'll see you next time. Or should I say you'll see me.